Oh, the old uh, Road King Classic saddle, leather saddle bags, yeah. My 08 FLHRC Road King Classic is somewhere outside. Um, I'm a classic kind of guy. I like the chrome. I like the leather. I don't like the hard saddle bags. Nothing against them. I just don't like them. Um, I like them. They're, they're nice and they're nice and wide I get plenty of groceries plenty of crap inside here every time I go to shopping but they get beat up they really do uh, look at the scuff marks you get little markings from the mounting from the mounting points of my um, of my sissy bar or the luggage rack you got that there so and then the stitching it starts fading away it starts fading off so you need a little maintenance we'll see what we could do liven them up hopefully they'll look nice uh, we're gonna clean her off with some goof off and then I'm gonna try something different uh, let's try shoe polish I'm gonna try either or the kiwi uh, heel and edge restoration uh, black polish or the kiwi leather dye leather dye for for shoes so I'll try both of them see how it comes out as long as they look uh, more you know even with a good sheen on it I don't mind we'll see how it goes I'll let you know Spray a little goof off. See what happens. Ooh. Become sticky. It's always so hard to work with one hand only, but voila, look at, look what just came off of that. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to hit the, uh, the entire bag all around. And I'll keep you posted. All right. Well, I'm done with one bag. And let's look at here. Now that's, uh, I don't know how many years of crud, dirt, maybe even some of the dye from the leather, but she feels good. Technically, I could just leave her as is and put a leather conditioner on it to help it bead and repel some of the water, but uh don't care too much for the charcoal black. See if we go a little further black, a little black with uh, with some sort of shine or sheen to it. So uh, this is nice and smooth. You could feel your your fingers run through it. You know it's already built up with crud and oil and and whatever has penetrated throughout the years. And this one here is. Yeah, this one you could feel the leather. You could actually feel the leather. Yeah, I like this. I like this better. Yeah, this one, it just feels like plastic. So I'm going to hit this one also. Clean them up. Voila! Turned out really nice. Nice and glossy. Really nice and glossy. No more charcoal gray. It's nice. Not a jet black, but it, it is a black. They'll certainly stand out more. Yes. Very, very happy. So once that dries, 
completely 100%. Got some up here. Just spinning away. Once that dries, you can literally take a pledge to it. Yes. Or even an armor all. I take an armor off. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And every once in a while, if you're going to touch it up, you got to clean off the oil. Clean it off with uh, I don't know, some goof off. Maybe even some a damp uh, mineral spirits. Just to take that oil off, surface oil, and hit it up with. Oh, and I found that the heel, heel and edge kiwi shoe polish for soles is better than the dye. For some reason, the dye beads and it doesn't penetrate as much as this heel and edge uh, dye does. So, oh, it is water resistant. So, great. Woohoo! Perfect. I'll keep you posted.